So guys, I just thought I'd do a quick video, just a bit of a recap, quick recap on WA State titles, uh, just on the weekend. Um, I didn't end up doing the two classes, just uh, I only just sort of got over COVID, uh, hit me pretty hard, so I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to go. Um, on the day, it wasn't too bad. I ended up downing half a dozen Nurofen and it, it seemed to have got me through pretty good. I didn't feel like I'd lost too much power, if any. Um, felt like my endurance was probably a little bit lacking, but like I said, I was only a day out of isolation at, at that time, but um, obviously with Sam coming over from Queensland, I, I just didn't want to miss miss out on, on finally getting a grip up with him. Um, really nice guy, super strong. I mean, you might have seen the match already. Uh, I'll probably get my matches together at some point and, and do a separate video with my matches, but um, it probably looked a bit one-sided, but it, it we were sort of messing around on the after table and, and it, it it is a lot closer than what that looked. It's just, he made a few technical problems and um, I, I sort of went through a couple of things he could change and and yeah, it, it, it definitely wasn't as one-sided as that, as that looked, it's just, I made the right choices and sort of caught him off guard a bit. Um, but yeah, it was a great win. I'm super happy with it. The actual 95 class was, was actually really, uh, had quite a few of the, the sort of strong, strongest guys from WA in that. Um, so it was a pretty tough draw. I had Bobby first, who he ended up, he, he won the 80s. And in the past, his style has given me troubles. He's got pins on me before. Um, so I, I had him first up. So I, I managed to get through that. Um, then I had, I think I had Rick, Rick Kamana after that. So he's one of the original guys. We've been training together pretty much since the start. He's super fast and again, we've never gripped up in comp, but his speed's always been a bit of a problem for me. So again, I was um, very happy to get through that. Um, he's super, yeah, just super fast. So, yeah, it was good. Um, so my focus, so probably from over the top, my focus at over the top was to pretty much be good on my starts, uh, which I pretty much was, I felt, for most of the day. I, I didn't feel like I missed too many starts, but um, my focus for WAs was the setup. I really wanted to as I was going to the table, be really thinking about my setup and making sure that I was comfortable and I felt like I had everything that I needed. It, that, that was my big focus and, and obviously the start as well. Um, and uh, from what I can tell from watching the videos, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. It, pretty much my setups felt perfect. Um, I was, yeah, just really switched on. It's probably the most switched on I've been for a comp. When going up to the table, you know, sometimes you can go up there and you kind of just forget everything, but I was really, really focused on making sure that I tried to get everything that I needed and feel what the other person was doing. It's something that I don't really do a lot. I do it in training, but I don't do it at comp. So I was really sort of letting them grip and feeling what they were doing and and yeah sort of making sure that I still had everything that I needed and like I said it yeah I'm, I'm really really happy with how I went so um, yeah pretty much that's so obviously again I, I managed to get through um, didn't take any losses so um, yeah super happy under 95 state champ again um, so, like I said, next year, obviously, hopefully, I'm, I'm all good. So, I'll probably do the two classes again next year. Uh, I don't plan on really getting back under 80 unless it was maybe something international. 
I'm just going to hover around that 85, 80, between 84 and 86 kilos, I guess, somewhere around there. Uh, I'm just going to basically build, build from that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, lots of after pulling. Like I said, I'll do a couple of, um, I was going to do something a bit different and I'll get my match together with Sam and do a bit of a, bit of an ana analysis on it and run through what I was kind of thinking at the time and what I'd done and what I felt from him. Um, I've already been through it all with him. And like I said, I, I've given him plenty of tips about what he did wrong. And, and yeah, he pretty much, yeah, knew straight away when I sort of was running through it with him, what he could have changed and it, it, it could have possibly changed the outcome of the match. Um, it's hard to know, I mean, after pulling so different to comp competition, but but yeah, definitely wasn't as, as probably one-sided as that looked. It's just I managed to get everything and he didn't, but things to learn. I still feel like I've come away from that with things to learn as well, so. Um, but no, great comp. There's some real, really good matches. Um, yeah, if you head over to Dave Chapman's YouTube, he'll probably have them all uploaded soon enough. Um, I'll put a link in the, in the comments. Um, yeah, check him out. He does good videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Like I said, just a quick recap. Just WAs. Um, I'll bring out, start bringing out some more videos now. Like I said, I've, I've pretty much over the COVID. So I can get back in and train. Just be rehab this week, but then I'll probably get straight back into heavies. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.